Last time we discovered just how beautiful the blue waters of the Bahamas really is. And please join us this week as we go down in the second deepest blue hole in the world. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. What we won't do for cell phone coverage. We're gonna waste our little modem up with the flag line. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, we'll use a topping line. And if we, that doesn't work, we'll use a spinnaker line. Because we're late with uploading the video because it's been taking three days now to, to upload it. So hopefully this is going to do it. And if that doesn't work, we'll go closer to land. <laughs> I populated land. Yeah, so we bought a data card and they sold us this little modem as well. So we are reverting to this now because the cell phones are not doing a thing inside here. So Mr. IT is busy sorting it out. I'm afraid that modem is worse than a mobile. They still use all the technology. Can you see it? No <laughs> Wi-Fi 6, no LTE, no nothing, I think. Hmm. But we will try. Our next stop was Long Key off Fortune Island, where we couldn't wait to get down below and see what the waters can offer us. So the wind is coming almost dead from a stern, almost, like 100 and how much? 157. 157. There you got it from the captain. So what a dear friend of us, Paul Barnos with more than actually 50 crossings, Atlantic crossings and 220 nautical miles of sailing. 280,000 nautical miles <laughs> so that guy knows how to sail so he gave us this great tip so whenever there's a very light wind the sail will tend to fold in or flap around as the waves or the the swells is moving the mast around it depowers the genoa or the main for that matter and then when it comes back it whacks and this is now Paul's tip a bungee cord. So we normally rig it. This is another tip from oh, from Paul Tolkien. <laughs> Tonkin from Australia. He gave us this tip to say, okay, this one is our Genoa port sheet, but it's too close. And you want the sail downwind, you want the sail to be open. So we opened it up first by using a mid ship cleat so it's now open but it doesn't stay open as i said before so now paul baronos told us about bungees so you put a bungee and i put it also just anywhere but the idea is you want to keep the sail open also it will pump the midship cleat must you can open up the sail even a little bit more but the idea is if it's going slack you don't want this one to touch this because then it chafes over here so we started the engine to show you what happens if the parent winch drops so now you can see this one is going slack all the time 
and the bungee is just pumping just pumping all the time I'll show you the other bungees at a later stage for the for the main on a boom there was a quick stop over at South Point on Long Island when the water was so clear you could check your entire anchor chain plus anchor Then it was off to Great Harbour in Clarencetown. We are on our way to the field dock there and we yesterday we went and inspect the field dock how it looks like and, and how the, situ the situation will be. There's no siding, it's only pylons with wood, wood pylons and then I've got a piece of rubber on this side. We think we might have a solution. We've got our mooring lines ready. Hopefully this will work, so we've got our gangplank, the passerelle or a piece of wood that is that we use to get on and off the, the mat moorings and then we put fenders in the middle, we tie the, the plank with lines, hopefully <laughs> this will work, <laughs> no idea. We've got some bikes here and some fins over there. So we decided to take a 24 kilometer cycle ride to go and explore Dean's Blue Hole. And on our way, we got our first encounter with the Bahamian sharks, the nurse sharks. The big fishing boats would come into the marinas and they would fill it or slaughter their fish and then chuck everything overboard and then there's a huge congregation of different species of sharks and obviously other little fish that feeds off it. That was quite an experience. Is this a lemon shark? Like lemon shark? A nurse. A nurse shark. Jump all what? Somewhere, yeah, but we don't eat bread, do we? I have no idea where we're going. <laughs> Where's the big road? That's a fuel station. And there's the church that the winds uh, uh, took a video of. And if you follow the winds, you will know that church has this history of the guy started building the church and then halfway through the build, he changed religion and he built another church just on the opposite hill. Is it? Yep. Do we have beers? Yeah. 24 sounds like an awful long a lot of kilometers. That's very end Oh. I'm exhausted. No more legs. No more legs. For a flat island is this very hilly, up and down, up and down. 
So coming from this side, you can see, oh, welcome to the blue hole, but Dean's blue hole. But on that side, there's nothing. Oh, there is. There is indeed blue hole. Huh. I almost went around the island. Reverted to walking. This hill is just too much. <laughs> and I'm sweating. And Peter is walking in the shady side of the road. Under the electrical. She thinks that wires is giving enough shade, or just just enough for her to cool down. <laughs> it is hot. And this tour is a blessing to ride on, and it gives up so much heat. We arrived at the Blue Hole. This Blue Hole is apparently the second deepest in the world, the deepest in the Western world. 202 meters. There you have it, 202 meters deep. <laughs> and it's a very small, I think 13 meters, 9 meters. It's not that big. Sisu cannot anchor there. And some fun facts about Dean's Deep Blue Hole. It is famous for free diving. And it is also known to have the highest diving fatalities in the world. Estimated deaths of between 130 to 200 dives in the recent years. Now, what do you expect to see at the bottom? Something that you would never guess small stalactites. And then from May to August, large schools of up to 100 black nose sharks congregate in this little hole. Very, very deep. <laughs> yeah, you were like disappearing. Uh -uh. There's actually like, it, it, the sand goes like this and it goes like a little roof and then it's sure. There's like a And the sand drops off like this. I'm not sure the GoPro will handle it, but we could try. Have you ever seen this? An underwater sand waterfall. That was the blue hole, and we need to suffer now back. <laughs> Upwind cycling. Yes, you're just like Maitre D or waitress about to bite. This is very good pizza. We stopped along the way to get the pizza at Lloyd's place, Lloyd's Sports Bar. There's a lot of TVs here. And the pizza is amazing. The rum too, of course. <laughs> a real sports bar. Mm. Thank you, sir. New rum and gin and tonic. Giant tea. Cheers. Cheers. Come on, Mr. Macho. I'm done. Your muscle. <laughs> Too much energy. 
it's not a good idea to have a ram and do 24 kilometers. No trespassing. There goes Peter. Upwind is a bitch. Don't do upwind cycling. And there he goes Peter again. Oh my golly gosh, goodness. Energy of a honeybee. A familiar church. Oh my goodness, there he goes Peter again. Uh, the end is near. Oh. Oh. That is it for this week. Thank you guys for watching and please remember to hit that thumbs up button if you liked it and tell all your friends about our channel so they can too subscribe. And then a special big shout out to all our Patreons. You are deeply appreciated. You've got no idea. And then stay tuned for some more Bahamian adventures next week. <music>